life was still moving, graceful as a bird. We watched out for her after benediction, was a game who saw her headscarf first. I nearly always won. The day the youngest drank paraffin oil, we didn't know what to do. All goofed round the gable end, we watched, we waited, headscarf over the hill. Knowing there was something wrong, she threw the bike down and ran. She cleared fences with the ailing child. Mrs. Brock gave a spoon of jam. The child was saved. Marched indoors, we feared the worst. Our mother knew what the problem was. Not enough prayers are being said in this house. While the paraffin child bounced her cut, we prayed and prayed. We did the creed, a blast of the Beatitudes. The black fast was mentioned. The confitier was said like it was never said before. Marie Goretti was called. So was Martha. We climaxed on the Magnificat. <laughs> After that, it was all personal stuff. I liked the way my mother got off her bike to the side while the bike was still moving, graceful as a bird. For good neighbours with jam, for the Pope's intentions, for God's holy will, for the something of saints, the forgiveness of sins, for the conversions of Russia, the doctor of Noel Brown, for the lads in the Congo, for everyone in Biafra, for Uncle Andy's crazed bowel, for ingrown toenails, and above all, for the grace of a happy death. The fuse to passions, all passions quenched by guilt. Your man's hands stole from me my sense of self-worth and left a girl of stone. This one is called Baked Alaska. Little boys for breakfast, she laughed, as she counted in her head all the men that she did bed. Those vampirella actions, each dynamic pelvic trust, could not deny the voice she heard from deep within. I'm not frigid, I'm not frigid, but cried. And this one is dedicated to my mother, and it's called Doorstep. Long ago, it was Cardinal Red. For me, the only way up was on hands and knees, where I sat with Mammy to watch the birds, learned from her the stillness of animal lovers. Small children, we played games, dared each other to jump on the top. Such squeals of excitement the day Ramsey's shaggy donkey came slip sliding through the back, clear the majestic bound. Down through the years we have gathered, to watch a hurricane, the rise of a harvest moon, festival fireworks, Sputniks and UFOs. As brides, each escorted by daddy, we paused for photographs. Now, as mothers, we gather with our children to sit with mommy, to laugh, to love, to learn on the doorstep. And this is leaving. She picked up her smallest child, moved him a good distance from the door, Two little girls looked sadly on as she moved swiftly out and gone. Out in the morning air, she wondered was it fair to leave them like that with their sleeping father? Would they manage on their own? Walking down the road, unencumbered, the air smelled of hawthorn, bluebells, sweet summer flora, and with each step cheered on by rampant chorus, she did not feel so bad. In fact, she was glad. They could manage. They would survive. She was only leaving for three hours. Thank you. Cars. I'd like a cerise Cadillac. Long enough to have a bowling alley in the back. I want an old-fashioned house with an old-fashioned fence and an old-fashioned billionaire. I'd stay weaving at my loom. Be no trouble to my groom if he keep the piles of money mountain. <laughs> In my cottage there will be a soundproof nursery not to wake the baby while I'm counting. I want an old-fashioned house with an old-fashioned fence 
and an old-fashioned millionaire. I'm just a pilgrim at heart, oh, so pure and genteel. Catch me at Las Vegas when I'm at the spinning wheel. I want an old-fashioned house with an old-fashioned fence and an old-fashioned millionaire. I like Chopin and Bizet and the sounds of yesterday, string quartets and polynesian carols. But the music that excels is the sound of oil wells as they go slurp, slurp, slurp into the barrels. My little home will be quaint as an old parasol. Instead of having carpets, I'll have money wall to wall. I want an old-fashioned house with an old-fashioned fence and an old-fashioned place.